If you are a coach, course creator, or membership site owner who would like to use Facebook ads to get calls booked, then this video is for you. Hi there, my name is Evelyn Weiss. I've generated over 6 million in online sales. And this is a method I discovered when I tried to find the best ways to get calls booked for my mastermind. And it is what I'm currently recommending when it comes to getting calls booked with Facebook ads. All right, before we jump in and I show you the exact setup, Let's clarify if this is for you. This is for you if you are a relatively new coach and you would like to give away free sessions to gain market insight, sharpen your skill set, and get first customer feedback. This is also for you if you are a more experienced coach and you have used video sales letter and webinar funnels to get calls booked and sell your services and offers from there. The setup involves two components. One is Facebook's Advantage Plus shopping campaign. The other one is Calendly. Calendly is a calendar tool where your potential clients can schedule a meeting with you. And we would like to use that in our funnel. So you have different options. You can either drive traffic directly to Calendly or you can drive traffic to your existing video sales letter or webinar funnel and then just use Calendly to have the meeting scheduled. If you're driving traffic directly to Calendly, I recommend including a few qualifying questions. Here are three qualifying questions that I like to include. The first one is I like to ask about the pain. So I make sure that the person booking the call is actually experiencing the struggles that I am able to help with. So I would typically ask a question like, are you struggling with X, Y, or Z? the pain points. The next question that I like to ask is their commitment to make a change. Are you ready to take action when it comes to making this change, right? So you would want to really make it worded in a way that is specific to your scenario, but you're basically asking them if they are ready to commit for to making a change. The third question is that you let them know that because you are going to be on a call with them personally, there are limited spots available. So if they're booking, they are committed to also showing up from the call because they know otherwise they're taking a spot away from somebody who is serious about making the change. You can word this a little bit more direct or a little bit gentler, but basically these are the three questions if you're driving traffic directly that I would recommend you ask. In my case for the mastermind, I was first driving traffic to an application and only if the person was a good fit, I would invite them to a call. So I didn't add the qualifying questions to Calendly. If you are using traffic directly to Calendly, I'd recommend you adding them. Now with that clarified that you can use the campaign setup for these three types of funnels. Let's look into the actual setup. All right. So the first place where we need to be is our events manager. This is my events manager. This is where my pixel and data set live. We would want to grab the data set ID and come to Calendly. You need a Calendly account for this. And here you can go to integrations and apps and you can connect Facebook. So this is really easy. Um, I'm just disconnecting the integration right now. And now I'm entering my pixel ID. That's literally all I have to do. And now my calendar event is pixelated. Okay, so data will be coming back to Facebook. So now I'm opening up the calendar booking page. So for me, this is um, for my mastermind. You could consider installing this free Chrome extension, which is Facebook Pixel Helper. So I'd recommend you install this to make sure you're having the setup right. Okay, so the first step is that when somebody lands on your page now, if the pixel is installed correctly, there will be a page view event. Okay, so people landed on your page. Now, when people try to find a time here and they book in, after they selected the time, we already have an event firing, which is invitee select time. So this could be over time a retargeting audience that you're also building up if they already selected the time, but they didn't book, it might be a hint for you to make more time slots available or run a retargeting campaign where you encourage them to reach out right, through a page, through maybe a contact form to let you know what time works best for them. This is if you're spending huge budgets, right, where it makes sense to plug such holes in the funnel, but I just want to make you aware that you are having this data, that this is tracked. Now you can schedule the event. And now on the thank you page, you'll see that we have invitee meeting scheduled. This is a custom conversion that Calendly fires back to Facebook and we can actually optimize for this conversion, right? So after we 
set up the integration. It will take up to two hours, but then we will see that this conversion, custom conversion events, they will appear in here. And now what we can do is we can actually optimize for them in our campaign. Now, sometimes when you set up the integration the first time, you could get a red triangle with an exclamation mark here as a warning, then you need to click on it and you need to make sure to manually confirm the conversion event. Just read the text, say yes, it is super, super simple. Another thing that you would want to do is making sure you're managing your traffic permission and that you are adding. So here in the settings, edit and you're adding Calendly to your allow list, right? So in this case, just go with Calendly.com and then add to allow list. Oh, and I have already done this. So for you, it would just be um, added to your allow list. So it's allowed to send data. And then you should see it in here. It should be on your allow list. Now you can create an advantage plus shopping campaign. So this is really simple. Just click on create and then uh, select sales and tailored campaign setup. Now in this setup, we can come here to website. You select your data set. And now instead of lead or complete registration or scheduled, what you would have done prior, you would want to select invitee meeting scheduled. And that's really it. Then you can proceed with how you would typically set up your campaign and just publish it. Now, if you are running this for the first time, then I want to give you a tip on the ad that I created to book calls for my mastermind. And this worked really well for me. So I like to use lifestyle images and lifestyle image doesn't always have to be you in front of a car, right? So it's basically just a, an image of you in a nice environment and your people can see you clearly and it looks okay. So this is a picture of me. And then I just gave my um, experience and that I decided to have a mastermind that I'm currently offering the opportunity for a 30 minute one-to-one -one session to create a personalized scale plan and they can click the details to apply. And then I personally send people here to the application, to the application page. I have my mastermind hosted in the school community. And here, if they found all of the inter uh, details interesting, then they could come in here and submit an application form if they were a good fit. I'd invite them for a call. So this is the setup that I have for your ad. Pick a nice image of you. Honestly, transparently share your expertise and also the, you know, ultimate intention because people knew that I'm giving away the session and we're seeing if you're a good fit for the mastermind as well. Right. So they would see that this is also an application session, but I truly did not attach any strings. Right. So there were a few people that I had a call with where I knew they're not necessarily the best fit for the mastermind, but I can help them with the free session. So I did that. And so just keep it really, really straight to the point, very, very transparent. When it comes to booking a call, it's a lot about, you know, trusting the person that we're booking the call with. So the more you can keep it real and um, I think just very human on the ad, right? So, you know, no fancy promises or um, results stacking, the better it is, the higher quality of a lead you'll also get. All right, so this is the setup. I hope you found this insightful and I'll catch you in another video. Bye.